In this webcast, we're going to take a look at two valuable tools to help you estimate the pKa's of certain protons you want to look at. The first of which is using the pKa calculator within Marvin Sketch. And let's say you want to find out the pKa of this particular molecule here. You can go to Tools, Protonation, and pKa. Go ahead and accept the defaults that you get. and out pops this particular graph, and it gives you the pKa values and the pKb values of different atoms within this molecule that fall within the range that you provided. The range we're looking at here is between normal pH ranges of 0 and 14, and we have these species 1, 2, and 3. So you can look at a particular pH value in this table on the left and say at pH 7, which compounds are going to be most prevalent. At pH 7, compound 1 will be in existence 100%. So therefore, at pH 7, also shown in this graph, compound 1 be 100%. And that's what we see at pH 7, this particular compound. Now the pKa value of that amid proton here is shown in red at 16.47. So at a pH value of 16.47, 50% of these protons will be deprotonated. Whenever you see a blue value within this pKa calculator, such as the one you see here on the top of this amid oxygen, gives you the pKb value. So therefore, the pKa of the conjugate acid of this particular atom here, so if you were to add a proton onto here, that pKa of that conjugate acid would be negative 0.7. At negative 0.7 pH, 50% of these oxygens will be protonated and 50% will not be protonated. And you can start to see that within this microspecies concentration as it's getting closer to the pH of zero. You can also see that in the table at pH zero, 16.67 percent of the time we're going to be protonating that particular oxygen to give this structure shown here for two, and 83.33 percent of the time we'll still have number one. You can use this pKa calculator within Marvin Sketch to give you a very good idea of the microspecies that are present within a molecule at a certain range of pHs. Another pKa tool that you can use is within Ace Organic. The way to get to it before you actually log in, down at the bottom of the screen there is this button here. We'll be coming back to this page many times throughout this course and we've already done this previously. The one I want you to look at here is the Ace pKa calculator. So all you have to do is draw in the molecule within the pKa calculator and press the view pKa's button. What ACE will do is it'll number these atoms here and what it'll do is give you the pKa and the pKb for different atoms within this molecule. So what you can do is use this acidity and basicity calculator within the ACE organic tools as well as the one within the Marvin widget to help you out with giving you a great estimation and a great start for the pKa's of different protons within any molecule that you would like.